Chicago, Illinois, Midwest Monster Search. We are here at the Occult Bookstore, or the Occult Spiritual Society. Here it is, welcome. The Occult Spiritual Society. I'm gonna take you into the Occult Bookstore and show you around. It's kind of a pretty interesting little place. And here we go. Here we are, the Occult Bookstore. I'm gonna show you around a little bit. Some of this cool, interesting merchandise. We have candles, cars, incense. Different types of candles. Interesting collection of books for sale as well. Some interesting statues. We got the Buddha. Interesting artwork, sculptures, more books. Looks like we have a bath of that up there, and we got interesting sculpture here. Potions or uh, sp um, types of, uh, uh, I guess. What are these exactly? Are these spices or are these are these made for smudging? Oh, these are smudge sticks. Oh, these are smudge sticks. Yeah. And what is it back here in the, in the jar? Those form? are herbs for herbs. whatever. You need. For whatever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Herbs, crystals, patches, tarot cards. <laughs> Interesting. Interest. This store's been around how long? A hundred years. No kidding. Over, yeah, we're the oldest spiritual shop in the United States. Okay. Andrew. Can you, uh, I'm going to ask him a couple questions. Is it, is it okay? Yeah, for All right, sure. cool. All right. Come on, just follow me and get him as well. Okay, you got both of us? Mm-hmm. Hi, James here, Midwest Monster at Paranormal Search, and you are? Lavelle Delon. Hi, Lavelle. How, How are, are you? you? This is the Occult Bookstore, and this place has been around 100 years? 100 years, since the 1920s. Wow, wow, imagine. Now, um, tell us a little about what uh, you've been, I know you've been a, different, a few different places here and there uh, in the city, mm -hmm. and this is your newest location. How long have you been in this location? We've only been open here about two weeks, oh, so about two we're, weeks. Still, we're still warming this place up. Cool. We're still putting stuff out. Cool. Uh, this place is a, uh, a little smaller than our last place. Mm -hmm. So we're having to rearrange and re re congrue mm -hmm. all of our stuff to the different to the different structures. Okay, awesome, awesome. Well, it's a fantastic store. I know. I remember when it used to be years ago over on Clark Street. Oh, near Clark and Belmont by Wrigley Field. Wasn't yeah, it? yeah, I remember we used that. To be over there, right next to the alley. Yes, <laughs> yes, I remember <laughs> that. That was, was really cool. That was where I started with the store. Oh no, kidding! So you, years oh old. my gosh, and that's the mid '80s. Yeah, I was, wow. I was a young kid. I remember I was uh, <laughs> probably about the same age. I remember I went there years ago, being a buddy of mine, and some. I used to have like. Um, uh, readings in the back. Of yes, it. yes. I don't know if you are you still doing. We that? still do. We, we still do that. Yes, yes. Interesting. So people out there are interested in what kind of readings do you do? All of the astrology, tarot, palm. I mean, it, it ranges. Okay. It's a lot. Fantastic. And these are uh, these are used. These um, herbs are used in witchcraft. They're used all over the world, really. Okay. I mean, there isn't a culture that doesn't use herbs or crystals. Mm -hmm. So we have to carry both of those. Fantastic. And tell us the location, your new location, where our right. viewers, our hope, can come check you out. Do you know, also, if you have a website or yes. as well. We're at 2032 West Grand, and our website is still uh, www.occultbookstore.com. Um, and we're open Thursday. Well, we're open Wednesday night for Coffee Clutch, which is our weekly social. And then Thursday through Sunday, we're open uh, 12 to seven or 12 to six. Tell me about the coffee clutch on Wednesday nights. Where people come here, they have coffee and just talk. They talk about spiritual things. They talk about astrology. They talk about rituals and festivals that they're doing. 
Um, a lot of the pagan community is involved, a lot of different traditions are involved. Just spreading uh, their traditions and talking about how they go about doing different things. Fantastic. Arena. Sounds cool. Maybe we'll have to check that out. So, thank, thank you, you so very much. much. Thank really, you. A, really a pleasure. Really a, a fantastic story. Really, really enjoy it. Thank you very much. Thank you. I've, I've asked him what's the what because obviously he sees probably a, a interesting group of people come in what's one of the stranger things that you've seen uh, stranger requests like for me I thought it would be kind of cool like if a cult bookstore sold like silver bullets or wooden blessed wooden stakes or something like that or is that just too I've had people come in and ask for like bones and different things like that I've had people come in asking for um, like me to make them a, a temple room, which is very odd because you can't really make somebody else's temple room without knowing them first. Right. Um, so that that's weird. But I mean, <laughs> the weirdest thing I've seen is people coming in asking for like um, dragon eggs or stuff like that. Dragon people eggs. Come in and ask for that. Yeah. Um, I can imagine those would be very hard to come by. Yes. Dragon yes. eggs. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> First of all, the dragons would probably be reluctant to give those up. <laughs> so, um, cool. Um, and of course, you have the normal hauntings of Chicago. Sure. So everybody has stories of haunting. Oh yeah. Uh, I mean, we're an old gangster city, so. Yeah. Well, we've on this on these videos, we've gone to a lot of the haunted areas in Chicago as well. Yeah. We hit Bachelor's Grove. We hit um, uh, Monk's uh, Monk's Castle oh, yeah, over yeah. On, on Archer Avenue, Resurrection Mary. We've done videos on all that. Oh my so, God! So I'm trying to hit like the interesting, you know, offbeat type of stores as well. All dealing with you know the paranormal and that yeah. type of thing. So what better than the occult bookstore? Thank you so much. <laughs> so really cool store. Really enjoy it. Enjoyed it for years. There it is, the occult bookstore here in Chicago. Really cool, interesting place. And you still conduct readings? We do. If you want a reading, give them a call. We do readings, we do cleansings, we do we do lots of stuff. Cleansing like house cleansings? House cleansing. Is that like smudging? Well cleansing. Well it's, it's it ends up being more than smudging. Um there are various ways you can get negative spirits out of a place. Mm -hmm. And we know several thousand of them. Not really, we know a lot of them. Um, and depending upon what kind of uh, spiritual affliction you're having, we can assign a, a elder in the community to come deal with that. Nice. Well, let me ask you a question. We were having this discussion on the way here. Are Ouija boards real? Yeah. They are. They're See, real. I told my son he doesn't believe me. They, he thinks they're, they're real. They're just owned by Parker Brothers. That's what so, I said. I go, they just picked up the rights to distribute they, they them. They own the patent. They're never going to give it up. Right. Because it's still a, it's a hot seller. A, a, a game. It's still a, it, they, they classify it as a game, but it works. It's a real thing. It's used in society to contact spirits in our, in our culture. And I think spirits. they've been around a thousand years or so. They've been around. Yeah, because I, I used one a few years ago, and I, I kind of like don't want to ever yes. <laughs> again. Yes. Weird stuff happens. I, I recommend not gonna... people know how to open and close it, know how to go about making sure that the spirits don't stick around in the space that they're using. Right. Or stick to you, even, in the space. Right, right. Hear that, people? Don't play with the Ouija boards unless you know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, again, thank you very much for uh, allowing us to uh, do this on your store. Really appreciate it. And um, I will send you a link to it on your uh, email so you can check it out when it's done. Thank when it's you. posted. Sure, thank absolutely. You.